So Wednesday, out of the blue, I get this email and I see this name Pete Bailefeld, and mm. I'm like, this name rings a bell. And he says, remember me from 14 years ago, wow. the Blue Bulls prank. He says, well, now I'm ready to get my son back. And I said, oh, let's do it. <laughs> And like, why now? Why after 14 years, Mr. Pete? Uh, well, he's just waited for an idea. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be good. And he can't let it go. Uh-huh. And I mean, the son, him good. the son would not think in a million years that yeah. his father would know how yeah. to even get hold of me. Yeah. Mm. All right. But what's beautiful here is how everybody's grown up and you even hear how much mm. older Pete sounds. Yeah. So here it is. This is revenge good how are you man been a long time yeah it's been a long time man. Oh. yo how, how, how long was it 2009 wow 2009 gosh 14 years ago how the hell have you been no i'm great i'm on pension i'm great good and barry has he oh grown up married he's got a son oh yeah, he, he, he did the solar installation. We did it. Me and his father-in-law did the solar installation now. There's um, there's two solar, big solar panels on the roof. Then there's um, the um, batteries and the solar, what you might call a thingy. Okay, and how long ago did he put it in? Two, three weeks ago. Three weeks. Okay, now one thing you must remember here. Is that so now Barry has gotten married, he's yes. got a kid. Oh, good son. Barry's very timid mm -hmm. in general, mm -hmm. but Waf is fire. You? Oh. Okay. We've got a new character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a third person now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. But now you must work with an angle because you must tell him you found me be because I'm the owner of the house. Okay, you're the owner. I hope we catch him because he's a cool and calm guy. Mm -hmm. And I still owe him for that other one. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. <laughs> because 14 years later, I'm still hearing all about it. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Good day, Mr. Bailefeld. It's Mr. Moonsom here. Afternoon. I got your number from your father. He said to me that you are the resident. You're the person that lives in 83 Coral Street. Yes. I'm Pony from Mohali City Municipality. What is the call regarding, sir? We've noticed a reduction in the electricity consumption on your property. Is that correct? Yeah. Can you tell me what is the reason for that, please? Well, no kidding, my friend. That's it. Okay. Have you had any installations put in there? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Can you keep up with me, please, sir? Yes. Have you had any installations put in there? Solar backup, inverter? Yes, I do, but that is only for load shedding. The solar is only connected to my inverter, which I plug my appliances in. The solar does not connect to my DB board. As you would know, if you have any backup system, you have to register it mm -hmm. with the Mukhali City Council. Yeah. And there's a connection fee that you have to pay. And a monthly fee you have to pay as well. But, sir, it's not connected to the house. I connect my appliances to it when my when the load shedding goes. It's something that I plug into so that I can have a light or my TV or my Wi-Fi or something like that so that I don't sit in the dark the whole night. When the rest of your area is out and inconvenienced, you've got convenience, right? Yeah, because I paid for that out of my pocket. Mm. So you pay for the convenience, mm. and you got to pay every month now for having that convenience to Mukhali City. You understand? No, I understand. <laughs> it's not connected to the house. It's something independent. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what is the fee then? The fee is going to be a thousand two hundred rand per month. Yo. What? A thousand two hundred rand per month. So that's ridiculous. For something that I'm not pulling power, I'm still keeping getting power from Eskom. When the power goes off at four, I just switch my thing on so that I have power, so that I can cook food, so that I can take a shower, so that I don't sit with a four-year-old in the dark. You understand? But you've got convenience. That's what I'm saying. So there's also a connection fee that I need to tell you about of 5,000 rand that you have to pay. Wait, wait, wait. 
Where in the law does this rule come in? Yeah, she comes. What connection? So when you are watching your TV show and everyone else in your neighborhood is not watching, do you think that's fair? Where in the in the law does this rule come in? For what connection fee, sir? So, sorry, who am I talking to you? Are you are you changing your voice? <laughs> no, no, what? This is this is his wife. I'm driving. And I want to know where in the law this comes from. Can you find the law for me? Can you give me the number of the law? The reference, so I can go and look this up. Okay, hold on. Who, who's the lady that I'm talking to here? You are speaking to Barry's wife. To Mrs. Bailey Felt. She's sitting next to me in the car while we're driving from work. Okay, but look, sir, don't let her fight your battles here, please. Oh. You need to fight your own battles, all right? Sure. Grow up, be a man. <laughs> Excuse me, you're going to be so <laughs> off. Oh, it's her. Hello? <laughs> Hello, I'm calling you from Mukhali City. Can you please talk to me? I'm phoning the father. I must speak to the husband. Do I have, who owns this house? What is your um, name? My name's Moonsam. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Moonsam is Whoa. Yeah, you're the only that will tell me that a uh, wife mustn't fight the battles. You know what? It's a 20th century. A woman can do anyway, anything. Okay, well, actually, in the 20th century, women weren't allowed to speak. Just under correction, this is the 21st century. So can you put me back to the man, please? We've seen through your bullshit. So f*** off and die. Stop letting her wear your pants, Barry. (laughs) (laughs) Hello, sir. Can we please sort this out once and for all? You're giving me the runaround. Can you... Can you tell me your name? <laughs> oh, wait, it was Moon, moon what? Moonsam. Moonsam. So the last thing my wife said is, can you give her where this is written? Because if it's not written somewhere or whatever, then how should I believe you? So it's in the new legislation that's been passed through the Mokhali City Council. So you can go and look it up. Mm-hmm. So you've got to make a payment. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use your electricity. Okay. So look it up, everything you want. Do you understand? So what you say, in other words, if... if if I don't make the payment, you put my electricity off. You learn quickly. Yeah. Even though I'm on payment. You've got to pay a connection fee. No, sorry, I'm talking to my wife. Oh, is she giving you instructions again? <laughs> mm-hmm. Why don't you take off her panties and put on your underpants? Whoa. Well, on... I'm feeling the, the owner of the property, man. Oh, there she comes again. Yeah, the owner of the property will have to pay it because, I mean, it's a Mukhali city bull, so, I mean, it, it goes to him. I'm only living there. Well, sorry, sir, I see nothing of this on your website, so this is obviously a scam. So until you send me the proof on email on the account, I will not be paying it. Send me the proof, send me the letter of legislation, and then, you know what? Then we'll look into it. But your website says absolutely nothing nothing about it i'm on it at the moment the last thing was alternative access to clean and safe drinkable water which is in fed so f- you goodbye so the other option that you have is uh, to give back to the community for your uh, convenience you can shave 300 rand off of that bill by simply throwing a plug over the wall and connecting it into the nearest traffic light so that that traffic light works. So therefore, it's a win for you and it's a win for Mukhali City. It's up to you to decide if you want that 300 rand rebate, but you have to power the traffic lights in your area. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to just tell you what happens from here. So now Barry doesn't answer the phone anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. So now they've already gone out the car and they've arrived at home already. Yeah. So now I instruct uh, Pete, the dad. He lives just up the road. I say, Pete, they're not answering the phone. You've got to drive there to the yeah, house. Yeah. Oh. So Pete drives there, and then he arrives at the house, and then he gives the phone to Barry. Right. All right. Sure. Okay. Hello. Explain to me. Explain to me. Oh, what what to me. Did you have <laughs> on it? Apparently, my sister in law told me that she'd be us. She bled. Where's Barry? Of me. <laughs> Barry, long time, bro. How's it going, Darren? <laughs> Your toppy has been waiting 14 years for retribution, my man. No, I know, since that first time, 2000, 2009. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. 
<laughs> but but you got bus there, and Mother Lane got bus too, eh? Yeah, she does. Pete, yes. what um, what do you want to say to Barry? <laughs> like I, I got you. Finally, <laughs> finally. I've never heard a swearer. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Well, maybe there'll be part three oh. starring Madeleine. <laughs> we'll see. KFM.